Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem. And the problem's name is max pair sum in an array. So in this question, we are given a zero index integer array called nums. We have to find the maximum sum of a pair of numbers from the nums such that the maximum digit in both the numbers is equal. We have to return the maximum sum, else we have to return minus one if we can't find any such pair. So let's take a look at this example. We are given a nums array. So our first task is to find a pair of elements which share a maximum digit. So here we can see 7 is shared in these two numbers. So we can choose this as a pair and calculate the sum. The sum is 88. Also we can find another pair here sharing 4. So 24 and 42. The sum is 66. But this pair gives us the maximum sum. So we return the maximum sum. In the second example we can see that we can't find any such pair sharing a maximum digit. So we return minus one as the output. So let's see how we can code this. So this is the function given to us max sum and the return type is an integer representing the maximum sum we have to return and the input is an integer array called nums. First let us create a helper function called max digit in num which will give us the maximum digit present inside a num. So I'm taking an integer num as a parameter and later we can call this function to find out the maximum digit for all the elements present inside the nums array. So to calculate the maximum digit, I'm choosing a digit variable and I'm going to iterate using a while loop and this while loop will run until the input num is not equal to zero. So I'm extracting the last digit using the modulus operator and comparing it with the current max digit. We start with zero. If this condition satisfies, I'm assigning that last digit to the maximum digit. And then before starting the new iteration, I'm removing the last digit using the division operator. So this iteration will happen for all the digits present inside the num variable. And finally, we get our max digit present inside that number. Now inside the main function, I'm going to create a output variable called max. And initially the value is going to be minus one because anyhow we have to return minus one if we can't find a max sum for a pair of numbers inside num. So this max variable will be returned. And now using nested for loops, the outer loop i and inner loop j, we start with i being, we start with i here and j here. And this will happen for all the pairs present inside the nums array. And for each pair, I'm going to check the maximum digit inside the ith element that is this and the maximum digit inside this. And I'm going to check if those two numbers are equal because we need to check if the maximum digit is common in both the numbers. So if max digit is same in both the numbers, we calculate the max, we add those two numbers and check it with the current max and update the max variable. So this will happen for all the elements present inside the nums array. And finally, we return the value max after all the combinations have been checked and it has calculated the max value. Now let's try to run the code. The test cases are running. Let's submit the code and a solution has been accepted. The time complexity of this approach is O of n square when n is the length of the nums array because we are using two for loops and the space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve this question. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.